trip something didn't go wrong go to leave and my back 12 volt plugs not working must have popped a fuse or something I'm guessing how many freaking fuses can a vehicle have oh that was a waste of time couldn't figure out the fuse, but oh well. Should hopefully work from up here, I think. Yep. Alrighty guys. I'm not smiling. It's finally here. It's finally here. It's finally go time. We are headed to the South Dakota Black Hills. Couldn't be more excited. Picking up Jeremiah, it's gonna be two of us, eight days sleeping in my truck. So uh, it ought to be good and it ought to be interesting. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. I'm just leaving the house right now. I'm on my way to pick him up. I hope I have everything. I got a lot of stuff, pretty much everything but the kitchen sink. I didn't want to forget anything. And uh, we are on the road. It's been long awaited. And uh, I'm stoked. You guys are gonna think I'm funny because uh, we're gonna be sleeping both of us in my truck and I don't have a topper, but Jeremiah's gonna lay across the front. I'm gonna lay across the back. And uh, it's just a convenience thing for me. I like uh, being able to have my space in the box. So, and I don't mind sleeping in here, but we're gonna try it out. First hunting trip where we've actually camped out in the truck. We might maybe pop a tent up a night or something. I got a tent along, but as of right now, we're gonna be uh, truck camping, so stay tuned. I'm gonna grab Jeremiah and we're gonna get on the road. Alrighty, just picked up Jeremiah. We're going on a turkey hunt and here it looks like we're leaving the country. We got so much stuff in here. We're gonna have to organize that when we get there. Um, a little bit better anyways. But I figured by the time we get there, we're pretty much gonna be hunting. I mean, we're gonna be getting there right around daylight, I believe. And we're gonna hunt hard probably all day and then we'll figure out the truck situation and rearrange it. But yeah, anyways, we're on the road now. We gotta make one more stop at good old Wally World, grab a few things, and then we're out of Dodge. Stay tuned. You freaking ready or what? I'm waiting a while for this. Gotta make sure them tags are in there now. You don't have so much stuff in here. Be Mine's right by the, yeah. Ooh. We're good to go. Yeah, After spending a lot of money later, we were finally leaving Wally World. We got everything we need. If we don't need it, or we don't have it, we don't need it. Yeah. 6.30 right now, 69 degrees out, and we should be getting there right about daylight. Good little quick trip, Sammy. Time to hit the road. Minnesota, one state closer. About almost eight o'clock now. Temps dropping a little bit, 64 degrees out now. I'm not sure how warm it's supposed to be, cold it's supposed to be in South Dakota. But uh, <clears throat> we'll find out. It might be a little chilly in the morning. Let's see here. It's gonna be a lot of miles. 622 miles on the old I-90. Phew. Ew. 
Good morning, everybody. We have made it to South Dakota. We are to the spot we're going to be hunting. It's just quarter after five right now. It's getting light out. Haven't heard anything yet, but we uh, hunted a little bit here last year. Saw a number of birds. With any luck, hopefully, uh, if you guys can see that big hill behind us, we're going to hike up that, get over the top of it, and uh, see what we can see. But uh, yeah, we got a mess going on. Got our camo on, organizing everything, and uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get ready to start hiking, so stay tuned. Alright, trying to set this bridge up with the inverter, run it off a battery in the back of my truck. That way it doesn't drain uh, the truck battery, because we don't want to be stranded out here, so hopefully it works. feathers, some older bones, pretty spooky. Oh yeah, still some bones. Just waiting for a kitty to be watching us. Bones up again.
should back up and just see what happens. All right, guys, a little update. It's 9:13. Just found this little blind here. And Jeremiah and I had five hens come right into us, and unfortunately, there was no Tom in there. Or it would have been game over, but <clears throat> we're just gonna keep walking. Hopefully, strike up a bird. Just had one shot gobble, but uh. Other than that, not much going yet, so let's see if we can find something. walking guys checking some stuff out and heck yeah I don't know how well you guys can see this but I just found I believe it's agate I'm almost certain it is nice swirls in it it's awesome looking for cool rocks on the way here's another cool one found one here that's got some fossil in it seashell it's pretty neat We are sweating pretty good guys. We have put on, by the time we get back to the truck it'll be about a seven mile jaunt. We got close with a couple hens and then we uh, came over here and just look at this view. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. And then uh, take a gander through here. It's pretty crazy. Quite the drop. See a long ways. Finally hiking down. Gonna go check out a new spot. Still got a lot of ways to go yet. And we've already put on six and a half miles. Gosh, that's where we came up. It looks terrible going down. Yeah, that's some pretty gnarly terrain. That's a good sight right there. Just got back to the truck. Just got done climbing down that huge hill. And uh, I am beat. Legs are dead, feet are dead, I'm sweating. We just got done doing about seven miles. I think we're gonna head to a new spot and I'm honestly probably just gonna hang out on the creek for a bit. Maybe look for some agates. But this uh, pack with all my rocks and whatnot that I found getting real heavy rubbing my shoulders raw so anyways you get in the truck turn the AC on and I'll see you guys in a bit
pretty windy. Some spots aren't as bad. Just trying to locate some birds, stopping and calling. Went to grab some chips. <laughs> you guys can see, I kind of forgot about that. The elevation change does that. I'm kind of scared to open these, I'm not gonna lie. Boom! Sweet and tangy barbecue. Never had them. Wow. Come on, bomb. They smell like a uh, twist. into a campground I'm not quite sure if they're gonna be open I have a bad feeling they won't be but if they aren't we did find a spot to uh, to camp we're able to camp 14 days at a crack and it is free so that's cool but I was hoping that this uh, campground be open take a gander and we'll see beautiful drive down through here You're way down in no man's land here's the lake Man, that's pretty. Wow. Guy fishing. Beautiful. All campers stop at store to register. I don't even know if there's anybody's in there. Doesn't look like it. No. Wow, oh, guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. But, just some sad news. It does say that uh, they are closed. Well, kinda sucks, can't really stay without paying. So, uh, looks like we might be camping at the other spot. Huh, there's a guy running. Alrighty guys, I'm walking the creek. Jeremiah's just chilling on the bank. I'm pretty sure I just found a big agate. I gotta get it wet. But I'm pretty sure that's agate. Could be wrong, but I think it is. Oh my gosh, guys. I just seen a rock down here and I grabbed it and pulled it out. Please tell me that's an agate. Please tell me that's an agate. If it is, it is huge. It's gotta be an agate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nuh-uh. No way. No way. It's a freaking shark tooth, I'm pretty sure. Guys, I'm in South Dakota. Like what? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm freaking out. Look at this thing. You gotta get down there. First I find that one. A couple of these are agates, seashell. I think that's where I just found. Shark tooth. What? There's fossils, like this one right here, it's got a seashell in it. Alrighty guys, day number one is over. Found about 10 miles. We didn't get it done. But uh, we we're on birds. It's just uh, definitely hard hunting out here. We're gonna figure out a game plan for the morning. We did not hear a bird this afternoon. 
So I don't know where we're gonna start or what we're gonna do yet, but we're just gonna run and gun and hope for the best. We shall see what happens. We're headed back to our spot we're gonna camp tonight, organize the truck, make some food, and then uh, chill out and get a good night's sleep. So see you guys in a bit. All right, just made it back to the little parking area we're camping at. Another couple guys showed up. They must be turkey hunting as well. They're up on the hill. They're popping a tent up right now. And uh, we're gonna get this mess figured out and then start making some food. And then, yeah, the weather's supposed to turn potentially, so we're not sure where or when or what exactly, but might try running south, might try running east, west, north, we'll see. We might go to Wyoming. <laughs> we shall see. All I know is that I could definitely eat, so get this done, get some food in us. That's all right, we don't need to eat. Yeah, we haven't ate all day, so. You ate a whole bag of chips, boy. I did not eat the whole bag. I left you some, and you, you ate some. You, you, you left two nibbles in there. Who saves that much chips? There's literally a handful of chips in there. They're good. Yeah, she uh, definitely got a bit dusty today, but it's nice to see this thing still uh, running good off the inverter and Jeremiah's battery. Got the inverter down there. Got it set here pretty pretty low, 11, and uh, yeah, pretty much everything is frozen. Didn't quite mean to make them put that cold, but that's all right. Gonna get some stuff out here for some walking tacos tonight. Alrighty, well, Jeremiah's just finishing up the walking tacos. <clears throat> I've been trying to organize the truck here a little bit better. And uh, I think it's already like 10 something. So we're just gonna eat, hop in the truck, probably watch a movie after we get everything figured out. And then uh, call her a night. But these are gonna be good. We didn't film much, sorry for that. But we had a lot of other stuff we are trying to figure out. So a lot of stuff in general. Digging in, truck's all organized for the most part, and I'm starving. We have not eaten anything today besides chips and a couple pieces of jerky. We forgot the can opener when we went hunting this morning, so we couldn't have our little MREs. Throw some lettuce in there. Even though this lettuce froze, I like lettuce. Throw some uh, Fiesta blend. Throw some of this. Uh... No, what are we doing here? We had taco seasoning. Er, we had uh, taco oh, sauce. I don't know where it is. So it is in the cooler. We're not getting it then. Okay, well, we're gonna use this then. We got uh, Terusla. What was that? I don't know, Terusla, however you say it. And then this is kind of going to be like a, a day by day video, folks. Um, just because we're going to be here for eight days. Not really sure what to expect. Turkey hunting is off to a uh, mediocre start. We got on birds, but they, uh, they're they tough hunting out here. They really are. And there's pressure. The weather's not going to work with us very well, it sounds like. So, worst, worst case scenario, we. Uh, 
change gears and do some fishing for some video and hopefully we can get on some uh, some trout up here in the mountain lakes but anyways back to this hot sauce is on and then we're actually going to do some dusty real dusty flaming hot cheetos should be good we're going to do walking tacos but instead of oh wow all right, didn't mean to do that much, but I want to be able to fold this thing now. Cheers. It is a goo. Mm-hmm. Good. That is good. Be eat another one of these before bed because I am starving. <laughs> it's Jeremiah's turn now, so put the camera down. <laughs> a little full? I don't know what kind of wrap job that was, but it was not the right job. I have a lot of meat. said I couldn't wrap that. It's a fold, bud, not a wrap. <laughs> That'll do. Eat this and get in the truck. And then watch a movie and nighty night. Got another long day tomorrow. See, I should have put the big one on the bottom and the little one on top. It says hotter than hell in here right now. Okay. Uh, just go like this one. Jeremiah's in the front seat. How come I always gotta sleep in the front? And then, uh, why can't we share? <laughs> I'm gonna lay back here. Probably turn a little movie on and uh, get some shut eye. I don't know, what are we watching, Jeremiah? Um, I don't know. What do you want to watch? I always pick the movie, so how about you pick it for once? Alrighty, guys. I'm going to end this video here. We're going to watch The Last Stand tonight, and then, uh, not sure if we're going to hunt right away or not. The weather is supposed to be dicey. Potential storms, some rain. Um, we're going to try to set an alarm. Just wake up, see what the wind's like. That's, we always have really bad luck out here when it comes to the wind, too. It's always windy, and, uh, it seems like we always land it during uh, bad weather. Either way, tomorrow we will figure out something to do, either turkey hunting or probably buy license and do some fishing. So we shall see. It's going to be a fun, fun trip for sure. This is the first night. It feels like we've been here for four days because we walked 10 miles today, did a lot of stuff. Like I mentioned, this is going to be like a, a series of videos. They're going to be shorter but it's going to be like a day by day and uh hopefully you guys are all right with that and enjoy it i'm exhausted if you guys can't tell and we're going to watch the last stand and pass out so thanks again and uh see you guys in the next one love you